Hello guys from Lake Havasu City. We spent the morning cleaning the motorhome. Every now and then you just need to stop and do a solid deep cleaning for a couple hours. And uh, it really pays off. We enjoyed the after effects. I don't enjoy cleaning, but definitely enjoy having a clean home. So it's still windy outside. I'm gonna make today's video really quick. I'm gonna give you some water conservation tips when you're gonna be boondocking. Tip number one, super, super obvious, use less water. I know that may sound obvious, but every drop counts. Our motorhome has a 40 gallon fresh water tank and five in the hot water heater. So that is not much compared to some of these modern motorhomes. So as you guys know, 90% of the time we're boondocking and that means you're not gonna have city water and sewer hookups. So every drop of water counts. And over the five years of owning this motorhome, We've picked up some really good tips. A lot of them we've learned the hard way, but some really good tips, and we're gonna share them with you right now. Since this is a real world environment and we are actually boondocking now, I'm not gonna run the water here just for the sake of this video. So use your imagination when I actually turn the water on. We like to reuse the water from washing our hands here in this bathroom sink. And what do we do with that water? We use it to flush the toilet. Like I said, every drop counts. So by that not triggering the water pump to come on when you uh, drop a deuce or something or need to clean the bowl, it really does save a lot of water. This tip has really been a good uh, game changer for us because it also balances out the black tank and the gray tank nicely because the black tank is really what's gonna get you when that thing fills up. The gray tank, I'll talk about that later. Some people have their own ways of doing the uh, getting rid of gray water. It's a little controversial, but I'll talk about that later. So right now, it's time to take a shower, and how do you save water when taking a shower? In our motorhome, it takes about a solid half gallon of hot water to just get pumped out of the lines before we actually get hot water coming out of here. That is totally good water and we're saving. But I will let that cold water fill up and then I'll just let the hot water balance it out so it's a nice soapy temperature and then I'll grab my washcloth or sponge to use that water, about a gallon or so, to clean my body and then I'll have the water uh, turned off here on our oxygenic shower head and I'll have the water temperature all leveled out already and then I'll use that for a quick rinse and I'm guessing I only use about two gallons of water when I shower. So another great tip if you're uh, traveling with somebody, take your showers back to back. And in our motorhome it takes a while to kind of level out so you get the right temperature water and by doing that the person following you doesn't have to go wasting water trying to dial it into the right temperature. And another tip, if you have the option, depending on the campground you're staying at, and if they have showers, just use their showers. So when you're brushing your teeth, just fill a cup up with water. Yeah, you can stick your toothbrush in there to get your toothbrush head wet. You can use it to rinse your mouth. But the big thing here is don't put that spit and toothpaste and dirty water into this pitcher. That's just gross. We tried it don't do it. The next water saving tip has to do with washing your dishes and making the most of that water. So there's no need to go cranking your water full blast when washing dishes. Just find a nice trickle and all you need to do is get them wet for the washing process. So what we do is we'll wash our dishes, move them to this side of the sink when they're all soapy. This is going to be dirty water. We'll drain it, clean the sink out, and then plug the sink again and we'll rinse and fill the sink up. All that is is soapy water, and that's your next batch of water to clean the uh, dishes. So when we're at home, I don't like having dirty dishes in the sink, and this has taken some getting used to, but don't do dishes all the time. Let your sink get full to the point where you have a worthy load of dishes in the sink, and do them. So you guys saw those three gallon water jugs that we were filling up in yesterday's video. We also use those to add water to our tank when needed. But this also brings up a controversial thing and I'm not saying that we do it. I'm saying I know people that do it and I actually kind of understand and don't have too big of a problem with it. What I'm talking about is dumping your gray water when you're out boondocking in a remote location. You know, what is gray water? At least for us, gray water is nothing but an environmentally friendly dish soap or hand soap and maybe a little remnants of food from when we wash our dishes. And in my opinion, that's not horrible for the environment. You know, some will disagree. Now, black water, dumping that you know, in the middle of the desert, that's just wrong. Don't even do that. 
But for the people that do dump their gray and just kind of keep filling up their tank, I get it. I see where you're coming from. Like I said, today's video was going to be quick. I hope you uh, found these water saving tips helpful and we'll see you tomorrow.